Hello, superstars. I'm back in my favorite place at my house reading you a story by one of my favorite children's authors. It is called The Magic Hat by Mim Fox. One fine day from out of town and without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air and over a road and sat on the head of a warty old, <gasps> can you make a prediction? What do you think it'll be? Toad. Do you notice there was a rhyme? Road, toad. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air like a bouncing balloon and sat on the head of a hairy, can you predict? <gasps> baboon, balloon, baboon. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air from way over there and sat on the head of a sleepy old bear. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air, it's true, it's true, and sat on the head of a kangaroo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air for a mile and a half and sat on the head of a lofty giraffe. And then, with a skip, and then with a hop, a wizard appeared with a sign that said, stop. So everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with sparkling eyes who took from his beard with a nod and a wink, a wand which he waved. And what do you think? The toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roo, and of course the giraffe. Oh, what a to-do. Turned back into people dazed and confused watched by a crowd that was highly amused. While no one was looking, the wizard, meanwhile, skipped out of town with a mischief, mischievous smile. And of course on his head was the fabulous hat that made all the magic wherever it sat. 